Emily Ratclaw is a transformational leader in the lives of Marquette students on the autism spectrum. She is the director of the On Your Mark program, and under her leadership, our students receive the personalized support they need to excel at Marquette. She is this month's difference maker. A generous donation from John and Kate Miller, and research by Dr. Amy Van Hecke, Wendy Kruger, and Mary Carlson brought On Your Mark to fruition in 2019. Let's learn more about Emily and On Your Mark. Hi, my name is Emily Racklaw. I am the director of On Your Mark at Marquette University. The goal of On Your Mark is to support students who are autistic who are attending Marquette University so that they can feel that they belong, that they are successful, and that they always have the resources they need that may not be met through the Office of Disability Services. Hey, everybody! Hey. We support students coming in from like the summer before their freshman year all the way through actually post-graduation. And the services we're looking at is executive functioning coaching. Even though all of our students are very bright and very academically prepared for college, it is different than high school. So for example, looking at their syllabi and figuring out when to start what assignments, what assignments they might need more support on, how to reach out to their professor, how to get accommodations if they're using them. I think that will help you better be able to plan your schedule in terms of your social life, in terms of your work life, and in terms of class. Yeah. What I tell students coming in and parents coming in to, with their students, I say you get at least three people. You get a peer mentor who will be an undergraduate student who's attending Marquette, and they get a grad coach, and they're the ones who do the more formal support, executive functioning, career training, things like that. And then they get me. How is everybody doing? I feel like I just came in and crashed the party. I say I'm either cool aunt, school mom, lawyer, principal's office, filling the gaps, those kind of things. My husband and I have a 10-year-old son, his name is MJ. We adopted him at birth, and I'm also adopted, so I love having that bond with him in that way. Um, we are both also neurodivergent. He has ADHD, and so do I. He's come to work with me a few times, and there hasn't been school, and he sees that it's possible. He sees that it doesn't matter that you're neurodivergent. He sees it doesn't matter if your brain isn't normal or typical, that you can do great things. This has been my favorite job in my entire life. I love coming here. I'm so excited to see my students come back. I care about my students so much. I know when my first group of students graduates this spring, I'm gonna cry. Um, I think the most important thing is that we're changing the culture at Marquette to make sure that people know that even if you're on the spectrum or if you're neurodivergent, it doesn't matter. There's a place for you to go on campus and people are gonna to speak to you in a way that is going to make sense to you and you can communicate with them effectively. Yeah.